guys that's the museum that i'm going in so interesting guys so let's see guys i'll take you in again this is the raymond uh m alf museum i wonder what's in here guys so this is claymont city guys that i came here i'm waiting while well, whilst i'm waiting for my son we're gonna go in here and find out what's in here guys so let's see hi guys so i'm here at the museum the raymond museum anything at i think guys look so this is claremont uh, city here in los angeles and uh, we are going to see a lot of things so let me find out exactly guys where we're going hi excuse me where's the doors to for the entry for the museum for the museum do you know where the museum is oh this okay thank you so guys that's the museum that i'm going in so interesting guys so let's see guys i'll take you in again this is the raymond uh m alf museum i wonder what's in here guys so this is claremont city guys that i came here I'm waiting while well, whilst I'm waiting for my son. We're gonna go in here and find out what's in here, guys. So let's see. So hi guys, um this is a museum that I'm in here in Claremont. Um look over there. So guys are saying here there are uh, footprints and also um skeletons of uh, ancient animals this is where they kept them so guys we're going to see a lot of uh, maybe this is the guy that took the picture this guy here guys they they don't allow they allow masks in here they don't allow you to just come in so wow dating rocks and fossils so guys if you love um is it geology or what kind of uh, career, guys, is this that where you can find ex excavation? Wow. So what do they look into in here? Oh, guys. I'm looking into a camera, guys, in here. I was looking into a camera. Uh, I don't know what's in there, guys, but anyway. Wow, guys, this is gorgeous. Guys, can you see? So, evolving species. So, this is how uh, animals have evolved. Their footprints and also just how they looked like. So, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's starting from one and they're evolving going upwards. Wow, this is so amazing scientific methods and these are the uh, some of the scientists who are doing the research scientists observe nature develop explanation hypotheses you know just looking from the footprints and uh, making them de you deduce something guys do you see do you know what this is atamafuesa in uh, zambian language but i guess they mean something else here what is it? These are replicas of mounds made by one of the earliest known life forms on Earth, dating as early as 3.5 billion years ago. What the? I wonder, is it? Wow. What do we know about the Precambria world? Guys, I came to this museum because I am in this city because I'm a scientist, I'm an engineer, so I also come to view just some of these uh, scientific uh, stuff. It's amazing to look at how other uh, mankind have done research on other stuff. So guys, they're saying this is real. They found them, guys, after excavation. Can you imagine? This is real. Wow, amazing. And then they use um, the footprints or the 
the bones when they find them and then they develop the real animal how it looked like what could this be hmm. interesting let's look at this guys you gotta love science guys i love science again guys i visited uh, this museum because i'm here i brought my son over here and then i came to raymond museum it's under the school uh, right here and oh my god i'm just watching these marvelous things and remember guys i'm in a mask because they allow they don't allow anyone to come in here without a mask let's look at this what could this be okay so that's the little thing over there wow this was found so they are saying these are some of the footprints guys so, oh my god i can't wait to see this other stuff here guys it's amazing guys look at that do not touch this is real okay plates are great wow amazing guys this is just amazing even this do not touch so dinosaurs all the time the annual autonomy of many dinosaurs is puzzling to scientists we cannot observe them in the wild to figure out how they look so instead we must rely on other methods comparisons with modern animals may be used in some case and in other cases mathematical analysis is information informative we may never know the actual function many skeletal features seem in dinosaur so when they find some of these bones and then they actually just um wow amazing and then they imagine how it was guys let's look at this one is this real oh my gosh wow amazing guys amazing horns and frills wow this is just one so they replicate it they uh, try to make it i'm not sure if this is real guys this re looks real because like it's the bone look it's like the bone the bones you can see the bones and again oh my god guys look what is here jesus okay before we look at this one guys this is just amazing if these animals used to be this big guys you know how you just watch they replicate them into big dinosaurs and all that so this is real these are really skeletons of this whatever that may be so they just take it and keep it and remember these things have evolved oh my god look at that okay so let's read about this pre predator query allosaurus was one of the largest predators of the late jurassic period in north america the the cleveland lloyd query in utah preserves the remains of dozens of our Allosaurus. Scientists think the query sample does not affect the death of the single a large group of animals, but that numerous individuals died around watering holes over a long period of time. My God. Amazing, guys. Again, guys, again, I came here uh, in this city because I love science, so I, check, I try to check what else I can see in this city while just waiting for my son. It's that summer, the microchip we extracted in the Hedgeshore skull. Wow. Uh, it's really exciting because we have these helicopters. So, so they replicated these, or oh, these real bones. Do not touch this one. Wow yeah it's amazing look at what they found when they dug that i'm looking at the wall guys 
So this is a school, guys. It's a school, and it has this museum just to keep some of these animals that they've seen that will never. This looks like a human being's skeleton or something, guys. What do you think? Okay, so this is the real one, number five, and then number seven. They make a replica of what it could have been. That's really interesting. For example, guys, this is amazing. And look at this tortoise. Nice. Wow. You gotta love science, guys. You have to imagine uh, they find a skeleton like this and then they imagine what it could have been in a bigger vision interesting wow and then let's see what else they find wow Amazing guys again. I came here to this um, museum To kind of see what's here female of male or female Wow It's so amazing You know sometimes we read books and we think it's like a joke, but these things really happened and We have to kind of see them. It's just So this is real because you can see the soil and everything they just wow it may have been looking very beautiful this uh, animal okay now let's see what they found here so those excavators found that and then with all these bones and then they have to put it together. Amazing. Guys, there are career scientists who look at the bones to look at the density and the uh, half-life calculations, calculus, and they can tell when exactly uh, the, there's half-life of uh, calcium, whatever that is so depending on what they find there they can calculate back to when it was life before it started actually losing that density okay, let's see some humans here oh my gosh sensoic mammals humans on earth guys look at these humans Some of them were just like this face. Africanas, close Homo rudolfensis, Parathropap. This is controversial, guys, but I'm not gonna say anything. Wow. So, so, guys, we're gonna go downstairs. And let's go see what's there. Okay. Let's go downstairs, guys. Oh, this I think I already went to this side. I have to go downstairs, guys. So they're saying, so I, I went upstairs and I finished upstairs. So I'm gonna go downstairs, guys, to see what's here also. So here they are saying there may be a uh, footprint. Let's go see guys. Guys, whenever you go to a city, make sure you can visit some museum and just see what's going on there. Some things are so interesting. Look at those footprints, guys. So they are saying they could use some footprints and uh, they could tell what kind of animals maybe stepped there. That's interesting though. There's so much to read guys, but I'm just going through the footprint 
early footprints oh my god this is interesting guys this one <laughs> like a dog footprint but it may mean something so the excavators guys they would excavate all these footprints how did they know that these are footprints it's up to science guys look at that some footprints have been preserved uh, some of them it's due to volcanic volcanic uh, eruptions and they preserve some of these footprints so this is what they would imagine something stepped on this uh, area an animal that may look like this wow interesting guys so they picked all the footprints from there up to there and then they could uh, imagine what kind of animal and what how it stepped on those footprints wow interesting what about here so all those footprints they could imagine what could have stepped there so you need to go to school guys you need to do science to understand these footprints and how to find these foot footprints <laughs> footprints because they are continuously um, being discovered wow so guys i'm still going through this place amazing some of these footprints remember these footprints for the chicken guys so they could tell what kind of bird stepped there and where maybe where they were found wow california millions of years ago huh, that's interesting california millions of years ago they found a jaw that's a jaw of a what Okay, guys let's see this this puppy here so when it this puppy is walking that's the footprints it makes okay guess what it should look like guess what guys tada interesting wow so it should look like that when it's stepping making those footsteps that's interesting And this is a lab guys look at the lab over there maybe for students to create all these things <sighs> guys you gotta love science amazing thank you so much guys for coming to this channel but you know i came here in claremont and then i just checked out what can i see here in claremont oh my god i love elephants so they're trying to show us how muddy and how they when they step on their footprints there so this must be a very big big one <laughs> that's so funny wow amazing and then what's gonna be this my goodness you can't even imagine what footprint would this be ha are you kidding me i don't know what footprint would that be you leave it up to the scientists to tell. This interactive ch children's area is a gift of the Crone family, Dixie and John Alf, Coran, Conrad, Dan, Colin, and blah, 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 Web School of California. Wow, amazing, guys. Do you want to leave a footprint over here? <laughs> I wonder what this is. Size yourself up. That's interesting. I'll take a picture maybe from here. Guys, thank you so much for coming to my channel. I really do appreciate. And again, we came here to the museum. This is the Raymond Museum here in Claymont. And I had just so much fun. It's good sometimes to discover what's around you. And a place, you, a place you've never been to, to just look around and see what's there. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate.